Same, sir. What about the humidity? No change, sir. That barometer's been falling steadily all night long. I, I can't understand it. Can't be the barometer, sir. We've checked up on all the stations and they report the same conditions. And nothing's happened so far. It's, it's impossible. I never saw anything like it. Neither has anybody else. Has the Coast Guard been advised? Yes, sir. Have them broadcast another warning at once. Hurry, hurry. Attention all shipping, attention all shipping. All shipping will remain in port. All boats at sea head for nearest shelter. Violent storms expected. United States Coast Guard speaking. Attention all shipping, attention all shipping. All shipping will remain in port. All boats at sea head for nearest shelter. Violent storms expected. Attention all shipping, attention all shipping. All shipping will remain in port. All boats at sea head for nearest shelter. Violent storms expected. United States Coast Guard speaking. Attention all shipping, attention all shipping. All shipping will remain in port. All boats at sea head for nearest shelter. Violent storms expected. United States Coast Guard speaking. Attention all shipping. Yes, Lord, clears papers. See that every shipment port is tied securely to the docks. Yes, sir. What about that swimmer, sir? Ridiculous. She'd have to cut out the swim. We'll have to have a terrific storm at any minute, and we can't be bothered with some fool trying to break a record. Have the police clear the docks. Yes, sir. Sorry, Miss Arlington, you'll have to postpone your swim. Why? Orders from the office. Well, what's the matter now? The barometer's been steadily dropping. The office is really worried. Normally, there's been a storm already. They're not even allowing any shipping to clear. Well, orders are orders. Oh, I'm so sorry. No swim? No, it's all off. How would you like to spend a couple of days in the country with us until the weather clears? I'd love to. Grand, I'll call the folks. And me up since five this morning. All aircraft, attention all aircraft. Absolutely imperative. All aircraft, private and government landed nearest available airports. Absolutely imperative. Attention all aircraft. Attention all aircraft. All aircraft, private and government landed nearest available airports. Absolutely imperative. USS Macon, return to your base immediately. USS Macon, USS Macon, return to your base immediately. USS Macon, USS knows what it'll be when it does break loose. Do you think oh, don't ask me any more of your silly questions. I don't know what it's all about any more than you do. I'm going out to the university. It's an eclipse. It can't be. Maybe it can't, but there it is. Barometer still falling. Fourth day of unceasing earthquakes as yet, imperceptible except through instruments. Greenwich, England. Tremors continue. Public alarm. Word that the end of world is at hand, terrifying millions. Send any word of encouragement you can. <laughs> I will destroy man whom I created from the face of the ground, both man and beast, and creeping things, and the birds of heaven, for it repented me that I have made them. As thee, we are his children. 
He will protect us. He will keep us from all evil and all harm. Put yourselves into his keeping and rejoice in his love. Wilson Observatory is low wave station. Terrible earth ocean pouring into the valley below us. It looks like the end. <coughs> Gentlemen, we are fortunate we're here instead of there. The International Broadcasting Company at this time brings you definite confirmation of the fact that the entire western coast of the United States has been demolished and submerged. At this time, we have no way of knowing definitely the extent of damage to Europe because all means of communication have been destroyed. Even though this international disaster has wrought inconceivable havoc elsewhere, as yet we believe there is no cause for general alarm here. However, take immediate steps to control provisions. Evacuate all unstable buildings. Shut off all gas. Panic movements of population can end only in disaster. That's all now. Stand by. <laughs> If I should die. If I should die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul will take. God bless. God Mama. bless Mama, Papa, and sister. And brother. And brother. Oh, that's right, darling. You to bed. Hurry up, Ronnie. There's your daddy. Yes, come on, Mary Ann. It's time you were in bed, darling. Good night, darling. Good night. Go to sleep. Good night, darling. Good night, Mama. I don't think anything will really happen. Why don't you go in and try and get some rest? I couldn't. I want to stay here with them. All right, dear. I'll go down and listen for the latest reports. The Wake Center is moving eastward. It must be in the Mississippi Valley now. What's up here? Louisiana sinking. Gulf of Mexico flooding entire state. New Orleans wiped out. Gentlemen, I'm afraid there's no escape. Because of the magnitude of this disaster, it is becoming more and more difficult to verify our information. However, reports from Chicago and the Northwest indicate that the Arctic Ocean is rushing from Hudson Bay and overflowing the Great Lakes. Chicago is doomed. Other broken messages indicate entire Mississippi basin sinking. house is liable to go any minute. I think we'll all be safer in the stone quarry. I'll take the children. Shall we dress them? No, there isn't time, dear. Bring whatever clothing you can find. Meet me there. Hurry, darling. Oh, Daddy. I'll be right there.
Allen. The children. They're safe. Can you move if I lift this? I'll try. back to the house again, dear. It's as though we might be able to stay there tonight. Anyway, I have to get more food and clothing for the children. Will you be all right? Continuing our information and instructions. The quake center is shifting eastward. Slight shocks have been felt in this area. The populace again warned to evacuate all buildings. If possible, leave the city. All East River bridges declared on
Give me that can. How do we know this land won't sink? What'll become of us? We'll worry about that when it happens. But how long can we last? How do we know we're not the only two persons left in the world? If you don't stop shaking like a scared rabbit and pitching to do some work around here, there'll only be one person left in the world. Now get that bar going. Just outside the cabin. She must have been there for some time. Open the door. I told you before, this place is mine. I was here first, then you came and I let you stay. But everything here belongs to me. Well, it's not natural for two men to live a month in the same house with a woman and not want her. Sure it ain't. But I'll do all the wanting there is done around here. If you don't like it, you can get out. Maybe you know where you're going, I don't. But I'll take care of the girl myself. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Norwood here was worrying about who's going to take care of you. I told him I'd tend to everything. I think I can take very good care of myself. <laughs> you hear, don't you, Norwood? Well, I guess I'll go out and work on the boat. Come on. end up by killing that swine. You'll have to bury him without any help from me if you do.
about 200 of them. Run us out. Said we was too tough. Well, where are they? Where's this place? Oh, about 20 miles south of here. Wait a minute. Who are you? My name's Jepson. Well, what are you doing here? I'm looking for a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it? From what I saw back there, it looked like you had a woman here. Well, what about it? Nothing. Only if I find the one I'm looking for, that won't happen to her. I'll keep her for myself. I hope you find her. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Rest? Anything I can do for you? Well, since your baggage hasn't arrived as yet, I took the liberty of digging you up a few things to wear. I hope they'll do. Thank you. Now, when you're dressed, help yourself to something to eat. I'll be waiting just outside, all right? Aphrodite? I'll admit I wasn't any more modest. <laughs> Sit down. Feeling better? Oh, much. Well, you should. As far as I can figure it, you slept 17 hours. I guess I must have needed it. I was in the water that long. Really? No wonder you're exhausted. I was on an island somewhere south of here. I left there when conditions became impossible. Oh, were there others there? Two men. Oh, I see. Is is this an island? You know where we are? Well, I don't know exactly. We were about 40 miles from where New York was. I used to know this territory pretty well. Before all this happened, we had a summer place near here. We? My wife and two children. Were they lost? Oh, I'm so sorry. You... You started to tell me about the neighborhood. Well, there isn't a great deal to tell. I've been so busy gathering provisions that I've only had time to explore a mile or so in each direction. You seem to have collected quite a supply. Yes, I have a great deal more in a cache in the tunnel. I hope I can do as well. Well, you're welcome to anything I've got. Thanks. I'll take these clothes. I'm likely to need them. Well, you're not thinking of leaving. Mm-hmm. Well, where would you go? See what's left of the world? Well, of course, you, you're free to go if you like, but I think there are a few things you should know first. What? Sit down. Well, I thought that I was all alone here. And a man arrived nearby in a small boat. Well, what did he look like? Oh, big, curly-haired, ugly as the devil. Jepson. Who? One of the men from the island. Oh, I see. Well, I followed him. He joined a gang a mile or so south of here. Very tough-looking bunch. Well, he's in good company. But while I was trailing him, I stumbled across the body of a young girl who evidently had been with them. Don't you think you'd better stay here? I'll stay. Today. good to us now. Let's keep on digging. We might find some gold. That's no good either, except to a dentist. <laughs> Say on. Uh, uh -huh. Where do you live here? I think we better go. I sure wish I was on that sofa. There you are, Jack. Let's go shave. 
We'll be close, all right. Thanks, bud. That's a good shave. Glad you liked it. <laughs> <laughs> sure good to hear somebody laugh in this place. Take a look at this. The peace and quiet of the majestic mountains. Nature unspoiled. <laughs> And take a look at the place. Yeah, but unspoiled or not, I'm glad I brought the family. You know, I didn't want to come up here. I wanted to go to the beach. I never did fall for that wonders of nature stuff. Believe me, though, this is one time I'm glad I listened to the missus. You certainly picked the right time to come up here. All the stenographers and bookkeepers in this town ought to be glad they decided to take a vacation here when they did. They're plenty lucky. It'd do us more good, though, if we had some people that are used to hard work. This one seemed to think they're still on a vacation. Yeah, what they need here is somebody to take them in hand and knock some sense into their heads. Yeah, that's right. Well, if there is any part of the world above water, it hasn't any sending equipment. Hey, can you get the fire chief? I'll try. Well, I didn't get anything the way you got this thing hooked up. Look here, look. Hello, Tom. How is she? Better. She was up a while today. Good. Get the fire going. We have chicken tonight. Oh, good. Come in. Oh, hello, Tom. Hello, Helen. Hello, Uncle Tom. Hello, Ronnie. Hello, Mary Ann. How are you? Ronnie, you take Mary Ann outside and play. Don't go too far. Yeah. <laughs> Mrs. Whittle tells me you're up today. Yes, it seemed as if it were the first time in years. It has been a long time. Any news? No. Ellen, you've asked me that same question every day for the past month. He is not alive. I know he is, Tom. I feel it. Your great faith help. I admire you for it. Thank you, Tom. But conditions have changed. There's only a few of us left. And we must carry on. I don't understand. We've had to pass a few laws. One of them is that every woman of marriage of age must marry. Oh, but I couldn't, Tom. I'm sure Martin will come back. If you remain in the settlement, you'll have to choose someone. I couldn't prevent it. I was hoping it might be me. We're pretty much alone in the world, aren't we? I don't know any more about you than I did when I first met you. Except, of course, that your name is Claire. What shall I tell you? Would you like to know that I went through Wellesley or that my name is Arlington? That doesn't mean much anymore. Nothing means much anymore. Once I wanted to be a flyer and cross the Atlantic. Then I wanted to be a swimmer. Well, that's why I'm here. For which I'm very grateful. You can't imagine how lonely I was until you came. You may be lonely again. I haven't promised to stay. <laughs> Are you afraid of me? You're very good at asking questions. Well, that was part of my business. I was a lawyer. Jackson! <laughs> That's what the Bellamy gang did to Hollister's daughter. As long as that gang's in existence, none of us are safe. That could happen to any one of our women. There's no law to protect us anymore. We've got to take things into our own hands. We drove them out, didn't we? That's not enough. We must wipe them out. Now, you fellows listen to me. I know where this guy's cabin is. And he's got plenty of food and supplies. And you need him. But that dame belongs to me. I found her on the other island and she's mine. Well, 
Well, you won't get away this time, baby. May I have some food? Sure. I have to untie my hands. How about a little kiss first, huh? to find them. Let's go back. Well, they couldn't have gone very far. Jefferson knows where they hang out. We'll go after them in the morning. Come on. They'll probably come after us in the morning. Yes, I'm afraid we'll have to leave our fine home. It's been a happy home. We'd better stay in the tunnel tonight. It'll be safer. Oh, that'll do nicely, thank you. Perhaps tomorrow we can find better accommodations, but this is at least safe. Comfortable? Mm -hmm. Are you cold? No. You're sure you're not hurt? I'm all right. Lucky for me, you knew where they were camping. And lucky for me, you saw Jefferson's shadow. That makes us even. You're a courageous girl, aren't you? You're no coward yourself. Claire. Claire, I found out that you mean much more to me than a cure for loneliness. We'll have another home, a finer one. We'll be happier than ever. Please. Claire, we can't go on like this any longer. You've got to decide now. All that I loved in life was taken from me. But that's all past. You're all that I have, all that I care about. Don't you understand? How about you? 
I don't trust the guy that's staying behind. <laughs> now, we're going to clear this Bellamy gang if we can. And if there's any looting, molesting of women while we're away, you'll answer to us when we get back. Now, you men know what we're setting out to do. Some of us may come back. All of us may come back. Or none of us may come back. But if you think it's going to be a cinch, you better back off right now. What are you going to do with that knife, Red? I want to go, too, Tom. Oh, you better take it home to your mother. Come on, let's go. Get around there and guard the other end of that tunnel. Right. You see anybody in that cabin? No. They must be in the tunnel. Look out! Got her up so they can't get by us. Come on. Go out the other end of the tunnel. They're probably guarding it. We're better off here. Keep out of sight. Say, if they had guns, why didn't they use them before? You think they've given up? They're probably surprised that we had a gun, but they'll never give up. It's a fine honeymoon. How do you like those wedding guests? Have we plenty of cartridges? About a dozen. Why not wait till they try to make a dash for it? They can't stay in there forever. Okay, we'll give them a chance to cool off. As long as it's daylight outside, they've got the advantage of us. We'd better build up this barricade. Pile those things in front of you. Keep down. Let's build it. What? Get bumped off doing it? Not a chance. I'll build it. They can't see us from in there anyway. I don't think they'd shoot you. When it gets dark, I think you'd better break for it. Not without you. They built a fire on the other end. I'm afraid we're in for it. Why? They're all in the tunnel, about three miles from here. Some of them are in the tunnel, the others are trying to drive them out. Evidently, they're fighting among themselves. Good. Are both ends guarded? Most of the gang are at the north entrance. There's only two on this side. Your job is to get those two. Right. We'll go in by the north. Come on, come on, Bill. I'm going around the other entrance and get in behind them. Give me about ten minutes, then go in. You understand? Yeah.
How is everything? Up and doing at this end. We've been watching every minute. All right, keep your eyes open. I'm going in behind them. Okay, fellas. I guess he's had time enough now. Now, when we get to the tunnel, we'll split. You fellas stay on the right, and we'll take the left. And don't make any more noise, and you can help. Got a chance. Let's clear out of here. No dame's worth it. That'll be worth clearing out of here. Yeah, that sounds like a bright idea. Let's go. Can you get them both from here? Yes. Get the man with the gun first. Right. Quick. What do you say we rush it? Okay. Sorry, it's over. How do you happen to be here? We're from the settlement ten miles from here. We came to wipe out this gang. So we're a little late. Are they all dead? Well, all but three or four, I think. They found it so unpleasantly hot in here, they ran out for air. Who are you? I've been living here for some time. I didn't know there was a settlement. My name is Webster, Martin Webster. This is my... my wife. That's the Ritz on the left. I hope you're wired for reservation. Oh, of course, darling. Hey, 
All right, boys, hold it. Jack, pile the stuff down by the Hollister house. We'll divide it up later. I've got a job to do. All right. Come on, boys, let's go on down the street with it. You folks come this way. Of course, we'll have to have a blue tiled bathroom. And a piano. And a radio, do you mind? <laughs> Is there some place I can go for a while? I've told her everything about us. I think she understands. It seems a miracle that she was saved. Had I dreamed that she were living, this wouldn't have happened to you. I want you to believe that. I can't explain my feelings toward both of you any more than I can compare Helen and you. My feelings are different, yet the same. All I know is that I love you. And I love her. The happiest hour of my life was when I learned that Helen and the children were living. The saddest is this. Goodbye. Helen is my wife. Your wife? What am I? If there'd been a church, wouldn't I be your wife? Claire, please. I see. What we meant to each other doesn't matter now. You've come back to your wife, and compared to her, I'm just a companion of a tunnel fighter, just a woman Claire, Claire. You're a great deal more than that. Please try to understand. Then it's a question of a choice between us. Darling, I can't make a choice. All right. I'll work it out some way. Take it easy. I'll be back in a minute. All right. I'm just coming for you. The trouble about that stuff we brought. What sort of trouble? The boys are fighting over it. We try to divide it up even, but it's impossible to satisfy everyone. Well, why not try an auction? They've got nothing. Money's no good anymore. That doesn't matter. Money's credit. We'll give each of your men $100 credit as payment for the trip. The rest of the people will give $10. They can bid on anything they like. When the credit's gone, the bid's no good. It's a good idea if it works. Why, of course it'll work. What am I bid for this blanket? A half a dollar. Half a dollar, do 75 I hear? Cents. Seventy-five. One dollar. One dollar. One, one dollar, one dollar, one dollar, do I hear two? A dollar and a half. A dollar and a half. Going once, twice, three times sold for a dollar and a half. There you are. What's the name, Rose Jones? Ah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what am 
my bid for the little lady, the Venus de Milo. Our bid's two bids, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Only two bids? Yeah, sir. Her arms is broke. <laughs> <laughs> Do I hear any more? Two dollars. Two dollars. I'm afraid the young lady's insulted. I'll make it two and a half. <laughs> two and a half. So oh, for two and a half. <laughs> Laugh, you bozos. I know what I'm doing. Winter's coming. But <laughs> no imagination. <laughs> well, how did it come out? A couple of them didn't use up all their credit. Well, they can use it some other time. So long, Jack. So long. We think it's time we elected a leader. I thought you were the leader. Well, I was in a way, but... We think we found a better man. Yeah? We need organization. The boys won't work together. They keep fighting among themselves. Look at the town. Nothing's been done to rebuild it. Everyone's too busy trying to get something for himself. We think you're straight. We saw how you handled that Bellamy gang. And we like the way you handle this auction. You're the best man for the job. And we'll do as you say if you'll take it. Thanks, old man, but we can't settle this among ourselves. Why not? Everyone in this community should have something to say about it. Well, we'll get them all together and have a vote. you met Martin first. I hate you for that. Just as much as you might hate me. I don't hate you. It isn't as if you'd stolen my husband. I thought perhaps you could help me and I could help you. I thought we could decide what's best for us. I don't want to know what's best. I only know that I love Martin. He's the only person I've ever loved. You can't understand that because you can't understand what we've been through together. For a time, we were the only two people in the world. You don't have to tell me that. He's told me everything. He's even told me that... that he loves you. That's why I'm here. To ask me to give him up? No. No, to see if we couldn't come to some sort of honest decision. If you mean talk it over calmly, then you picked the wrong time and the wrong woman. I'm used to fighting for what I want. If we'd been unhappy together, if we hadn't loved each other, if we didn't love each other now, believe me, I'd step out of the way. Well, that's where you and I differ. I wouldn't. You lost Martin. You thought he was dead. You went right on living. If I lost him, I wouldn't go on living. I wouldn't want to. You're forgetting something. Children. I've been waiting for that. I knew sooner or later you'd mention the children. Your children, yours and his. Does that mean his love for you is any greater? I suppose next you'll be telling me I'm an intruder. No. I don't think that. Well, I won't listen to you. You've got all the arguments on your side and all the rights. But right or wrong, you might as well know that I won't give him up. Not for you, not for the children, not for anyone. Now you'd better get out. Go on. Get out. Leave me alone. Leave me alone! You have offered me the greatest honor that it is possible for a group of people to give. You have asked me to lead you. Thank you. I accept. It might have been wiser had you chosen someone else. I shall probably make a great many mistakes. But that's natural. That's human. But I pledge myself to give you the best that there is in me. 
All I ask of you is your help, your enthusiasm, your confidence. We were ruled by law before, some of them good, some of them pretty bad, but they've all been washed away. We're starting fresh. But we have behind us the experience of thousands of years. Let's use it. Let's give to our children and to our children's children a finer, cleaner civilization, a more lawful community than that which was given to us. Let's pull together. All right. I'm so proud of you, Martin. You go to the house and wait, dear. I'll be with you in a minute. All right. 